I first became interested in dancing when I was 12 years old at a local skating ring. And I saw a battle going on out in the middle. They took your skates off and you can go and dance. And that's my first time ever seeing dance was then. It's imagining something that you've never seen before and then seeing that and then actually being able to do it and imitate what you see, you know? So it took a long time to realize that because for the, for the longest, I wasn't better than everyone else, you know? And then I gradually got better. And it wasn't until 2003 that I moved to Atlanta and then I started linking up with other dancers that were doing the traditional style of popping. And that's when I started learning the proper way to dance and started progressing more. Um, I would say 60-40, like 40%, like, cause I mean, everyone can dance, but like you have to really, you have to have a body for it. You have to put time into your craft, just like with anything, you know? But a lot of it, I think, came from my genes and stuff, you know? It was just something to track my progress, really. That's how it started, and then I started seeing different ways of making videos, like, like concepts that you can do with it, different locations, and like just being more than just a dance, you know? The, the way I usually find my um, locations and songs is what I'll do is if I plan on shooting to a certain song, I'll just get my camera and I'll get in the car and I'll just drive with that song on repeat. And then I'll just look at certain shots and certain locations, and then I'll see how well they fit together. If it doesn't fit or if it doesn't seem right, then I'll just drive off or try to pick a different song. All of my videos that are on YouTube, they're all freestyle. Like, I don't plan anything ahead of time. I set the camera up and then I go out and I put the song on and whatever that song tells me to do at that moment, that's what, that's what comes out.